Am I audible? Uh, Om Shanti. Yes, Bhai Ji. You are audible. So today's Murali will be continuation of uh, uh, the Murali that we read on Saturday. So to summarize, so the main points Baba has given us is to surrender, that is to follow Srimad and to bring spirituality into our everyday life. Uh, the, main, the main thing that is lacking to surrender is faith. Like once you surrender, you get all the attainments and you get full right to the inheritance of and treasures of Baba. And once we surrender, we inspire others to surrender. So, and Baba says that once you surrender, like uh, he gives an example of a factory. The factory is run by machines and Baba Dada runs this world using instruments and we should become that instrument where Baba can use us. And uh, uh, let's, so let me summarize the, uh, I mean, what we will be reading now. Baba says obstacles will always come. Uh, you transform them like obstacles into situations and then situations into papers. And papers are easy to pass. Situation, like situation may be a problematic one, but if you consider it as a, as a paper, then it becomes easy to deal with it and to pass it. And the sign of faith is like victory. You will never be defeated if you have faith in your intellect. And then the main thing that is important here is object atmosphere. So object atmosphere, if you create that, then it automatically pulls everything. And wherever there is object, the subject fragrance, it pulls the soul. So that's how service will be done. And Baba gives powerful swamans, elevated self-respect. And using these swamans, we can finish off all the weaknesses. And the first weakness that Baba is telling us to finish is the word trying. Finish this word trying. This is the weakness. Okay. Have faith, and then victory is guaranteed. And also, once you have faith in the intellect, you will receive cooperation. And Baba gives us powerful summons, and one of them is, no one can do it without me. So this summon will give you success. And consider yours, uh, yourselves, another powerful summon is, I am a Shiv Shakti, and Shiv Shaktis perform all tasks. They are shown as riding a lion. So they will never be afraid and they will never be defeated. So Baba says, will you change before time or after time? If you change before time, then for everything you do, you get 100,000 fold, 1 lakh fold benefit. But you, you have to change anyway. Like so why not change now? Right. And then Baba also gives the smriti of previous kalpa. It is re-remember. Okay. So remembrance means like you're going back, you did it in the previous cycle, and now you are repeating whatever was done in the previous cycle. It's as simple as that. So you claim their inheritance in the previous cycle. So you are that old soul, right? Who, 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 your role was there in the previous cycle. Then if you consider yourself as that old soul, then effort becomes easy. Next is, get this faith and get this memory into your intellect, then 
that you claimed the inheritance in the previous cycle, you will do it again. So it is like doing it one more time. That's it, as simple as that. Then you get power. Okay. Then another powerful swaman Baba is giving us that I am from the previous cycle. That gives you the power. And once you become courageous, I mean, you have to become courageous and make yourself. This will give you health and you will never lose. And remembrance also becomes easier. Another powerful soman is we are children of the Father, the Almighty Authority. Then how to do it, what to do, how to deal with it, all these weaknesses, they finish if you have these powerful swamans. Then Baba says, you should have faith in your thoughts, words, and everything you do. So Baba, like a true counselor, like a true psychologist, he, he sets a thinking foundation. So always check, is the foundation of your thoughts powerful? And what is the sign of someone who does intense effort is, is every thought, word, and deed will be equal. If you compare that with outside, they may not be equal. But here, if you are an intense effort maker, your every thought, word, and deed will be the same. And Baba also says, Maya sometimes comes. But it only comes to take leave from you. But you invite her in sometimes. So the only way to come I and mean, to deal with this is think that I am with Shri Baba and you are never separated. And when and make yourself very busy so that no one, no third person can come and disturb you. So if you are not busy, then someone can like put a sign like I am busy. So no one comes to disturb. Puts and similarly, you put a similar sign such that Maya also goes away. Okay, so this is the thing, and Baba gives many yuktis methods to uh, have easy remembrance. So let's start with the Murli. Okay. So I'll start uh, two lines before that. Uh, obstacles will come. The method to finish them is to constantly think that they are papers. So once you think it is a paper, you can finish it easily. Each paper enables you to discern your stage. If an obstacle comes, consider it to be a paper and pass it. Don't see the situation, but Consider it to be a paper. There are different questions in a paper. Sometimes about the mind, sometimes concern about public opinion, sometimes of relationships, and sometimes a question of fellow countrymen will come. However, don't be afraid of them, but go into their depth. Create such an atmosphere that anyone can be pulled, even against his will. The more you remain busy in creating an event atmosphere, the more everything will happen automatically. Whilst walking along, if you smell a fragrance, you would want to go and see what it is. In the same way, this object fragrance will pull souls against their will. In order to fulfill the aim that you have kept, you also have to fill yourself with such qualities. How far will you go if you are slack in trying? If you 
if you use the word trying, then whilst trying, you'll get left behind. Your aim should be that you must do it. Your aim should be that you must do it. To use the word trying is a weakness. In order to finish this weakness, finish the word trying. There is victory in having faith. If there are doubts, power is reduced. If you, if you have faith in the intellect, you will also receive cooperation from everyone. When you have to carry out a task, you must always think. So before carrying out any task, you must always think, no one can do it without me. This is the powerful Soma. No one can do it without me. And then there will be success. So from today, finish the word trying and replace it with another powerful Soma. I am Shiv Shakti. I am Shiv Shakti. Shiv Shaktis are able to perform all tasks. So before carrying out any task, bring this powerful Soma. I am Shiv Shakti. And then start the activity. Shiv Shaktis are able to perform all tasks. Shaktis are portrayed riding a lion. If any type of Maya comes in the form of a lion, don't be afraid. A Shiv Shakti can never be defeated. There is no time left anyway. A Shiv Shakti can never be defeated because we are in that combined form, form with the Almighty Authority. Form. There is no time left anyway. If you change yourself before the time, you will receive a hundred thousand fold return of one. You have to change yourself before the time. I, I, I'm repeating this. You have to change anyway. So why not change in this way? Do you remember that you claimed your inheritance in the previous cycle as well? So it's the same thing that we are doing from the previous cycle. If you consider yourself to be old, when the memory of the previous cycle returns, effort becomes easy. I repeat, if you consider yourself to be old, when the memory of the previous cycle returns, effort becomes easy. Because there is, faith, there is the faith of having claimed the inheritance in the previous cycle, because there is the faith of having claimed the inheritance in the previous cycle, you will not let go until you do so again. This is another powerful thing. Like right? you're going back to the previous kalpa and whatever was done in the previous kalpa, we are invoking that, invoking that, re-remembering that, repeating same thing again now one more once more that's it so this makes things easy if you consider yourself to be old then the memory of previous cycle returns effort becomes easy because there is the faith of having claimed the inheritance in the previous cycle you will not let go until you do so again the memory of previous cycle brings you pop power if you consider yourself to be new, there will be weak thoughts. Will I be able to do this or not? Now, Bhava gives another powerful soma with the consciousness, I am from the previous cycle. I am from the previous cycle. There will be power. You must always make yourself courageous. You must never lose courage. When you have courage, you receive help. We are children of the Father, the Almighty Authority. Another powerful Swaman. We are children of the Father, the Almighty Authority. To remember the Father is in itself courage. 
Is it easy or difficult to remember Baba? It becomes easy when you make it easy. So it all depends on us. It becomes easy when you make it easy. And think that this is my task, this is my duty. This is my task, this is my duty. When the question of how you can do it arises, it becomes difficult. So the moment the question comes, it becomes difficult. Don't allow weak thoughts to remain in you. If weak thoughts arise in the mind, finish them there and then and become powerful. If you still keep trying, when will you experience the object attraction? As long as you are trying, you cannot develop the object attraction in yourself. That language is weakness. The children of the Father, the Almighty Authority, cannot speak that. Their thoughts, words, everything are those of faith. You have to create such a stage. Always check, is the foundation of your thoughts powerful? Always check, is the foundation of your thoughts powerful? The speciality of someone who makes intense effort is that his thoughts, words and deeds, all three are equal. If your thoughts are elevated but your deeds weak, you cannot be called an intense effort maker. The two should be equal. You should always understand that when Maya sometimes comes to show her form, she is actually coming to take leave for all time. However, instead of bidding her farewell, you invite her in. If you are always with Shri Baba, if you are never separated from him, then what can anyone do? When someone is busy, a third person will not disturb him. The busy person would put up a sign so that no one would come to disturb him. You can also put up such a sign that Maya goes away. She would not have a place to visit. When a seat is empty, someone will come and sit there. It is very easy for you mothers. You simply have to remember the father. That's all. By remembering the father, the knowledge automatically emerges. Those who remember the father receive his help in every task. So the simplest task that we have to do is you simply have to remember the father. That's it. That's all. By remembering the father, the knowledge automatically emerges. Those who remember the father receive his, his help, help in every task. Remembrance has so much power that by keeping the experiences you have here in your awareness, they become imperishable. Remembrance has so much power that by keeping the experiences you have here in your awareness, they become imperishable. Constantly keep the awareness in your intellect that you are residents of the supreme abode, that you have come here for a particular task and that you have to return home again. I repeat, constantly keep the awareness in your intellect that you are residents of the supreme abode, that you have come here for a particular task and that you have to return home again. The busier you keep your intellect in these things, the less it will wander around. You have to relate knowledge to others tactfully. By giving them direct knowledge, they will become afraid. First of all, fool them with God's love. Bodily beings want wealth, whereas father wants the mind. So let the mind be focused where it has to be. Let it not go anywhere else. To stay in a yogi and object stage whilst speaking a few words is equivalent to giving a lecture. You can relate the essence of an hour's lecture in just a few words.
do you experience yourselves to be moving forward day by day don't think that you still have time and that you will be able to make effort later you have to attain completion before time you have to attain completion before time and attain the experience of the stage if you experience this stage then the time comes then your stage will also change when the time changes so this is something very deep to understand what baba is saying is you have to attain completion sampurnata before time why because when you achieve that on time like when the time comes the stage also changes if you experience this stage when the time comes then your stage will also change when the time changes when the time finishes the experience of the object stage will also change when the time finishes the experience of the object stage will also change and another part will come therefore you have to experience the object stage in advance kumaris run faster and so go fast in this godly race to only those who are going to come first will come close to close to the one who, who comes first only those who are going to come first will come close to the one who comes first the corporeal one came first did he not so you have to keep a high aim the aim is to become complete and so you also have to make complete effort so to become complete you have to make complete effort for only then will you receive the perfect status complete effort means to make yourself complete in all matters this is not a big thing is it difficult to remember someone after you know him to know means to have knowledge if that knowledge is not in the form of light and might then of what use is that knowledge that would not be called knowing here knowing and doing are the same elsewhere there is a difference between knowing and doing knowledge is something that enables that form to be created what form would godly knowledge create that of the godly stage so why would those who may take godly knowledge not adapt the godly form theory is something else and to know that is to imbibe in the intellect is something else by imbibing it automatically comes into action dharana means to merge that aspect in your intellect dharana means to merge that aspect in your intellect when it is when it is merged in the intellect then the physical organs perform actions according to the directions of the intellect we are the children of the knowledge full path and we have to move along considering ourselves to have this to have the light and might of godly knowledge within us simply to listen to knowledge is something else you must not just listen to it but merge it in you to eat food is one thing but to digest it is something else you don't feel energized simply by eating but when it is digested energy comes it is only when you digest the food you have eaten that strength is created is it possible that being the children of the almighty father almighty authority father you cannot do anything if so you would bring disgrace to the father's name always have the aim of having to perform such actions that you demonstrate being an example do not remain waiting in anticipation but become an example the father became an example did he not acha om shanti
So let's sit in silence for a minute and then we'll start with your mind. Om Shanti. So please share your turnings. No one wants to repeat. Om Shanti. Uh, Om Shanti. Uh, am I audible? Yes. Yeah. Today, uh, Baba has uh, uh, what Baba has said is uh, resembling to the yesterday's avek only. Also, that uh, so Rup, we have to become an embodiment. Uh, our uh, like uh, whatever aim we have kept. The aim is to become uh, Sri Lakshmi, Sri Narayan, Purushottam. So that Lakshya ke Saman Lakshan, the attribute should also be in proportion to the aim. And Baba doesn't like the word Koshish because when we say I will try, yeah, I shall do it or I, uh, in that there is an element of self-doubt. I don't know whether I will be able to uh, reach my aim or not. So that the self-doubt Baba doesn't like. Baba says karna hi hai. And I have done it a number of times in finite times. Last kalp also I have done. So I will do it. I am doing it. I am becoming it. Every day, every way, every moment. This uh, I really like. This is a takeaway. Whenever we do any task in Baba's Seva, definitely we should keep a very uh, determined uh, this one and karna hi hai. No iota of any self-doubt. Om Shanti. Thank you. Om Shanti, brother. Om Shanti. Uh, am I heard? Yes. Okay, when I went through this, you, you first gave us the summary of the Murli, the whole thing. That time itself, you know, one or two points started reaching the intellect. I felt this was just like uh, Baba's constitution, where he's telling us what are our fundamental rights. And along with it, he's also giving our duties. So he's saying, you are this, you are this, you should do this, you should do this. So I just felt like that. He's placing before us the, con the constitution and telling us this, these are the fundamental rights and fundamental duties. I have just picked up today for a change some swaman. I have, uh, as you were reading out the summary, I just listed them, but I'm going to sort them out later to see with what I start and how I end the night. 
I would like to take your permission to just mention a few. The first one, Baba says, I am the one with full right. I have the, his inheritance. I am child of the highest on high father. I'm blessed with this object, love, bliss, and power. With pride, I shall introduce my father to all. Hello, this is my father, our father. I am Shiv Shakti. I am the world mother. I am Nashta Moha, Maya Ji. I'm an instrument in his hands. He can use me in whatever way he wants. I love it when he does that. I am Hanuman, merged in the embrace of the Lord who is also surrendered to me. I am a victorious soul, a faithful soul. I'm Shiv Shakti, seated on a lion. No one can defeat me as I've got the form of all the deities, Durga, Saraswati, Kali in me. And my Lord is always with me. We are all children of the almighty authority, Father, we are his army. We are all residents of the supreme abode. We have come here for a task. We shall go back home again with him. Om Shanti. Thank you, sister, for sharing the valuable remarks. Anyone else wants to try the sharing or key takeaways? Um, Om Shanti, brother, and uh, everyone else. And uh, happy Diwali to all of you, loving family. Um, for me, homework or takeaway point will be, I will try my best to remember Baba 24 by seven. And just to clarify, when I say I will remember him, does it mean during my daily task, when I get involved into worldly activities, does it mean I, in the background, I need to memorize any one shirimat um, all the time, and like as background music, like Baba, I'm soul, I'm your child. Or if I don't say that, he, because I have recognized him, I have experienced him, he is within me, he lives all the time in my awareness, right? So I just need clarification when I say, I will remember him, am I correct? How to remember him? I also need a little bit of clarification. And also when I read Moli and Baba say, he gives different, different titles. Sometimes my mind does not accept that. Uh oh, Baba, I have used this almighty authority, this title for you, and you are giving to me. I have never thought about it. And my mind does not accept that. So I'm in the beginning stages, so I have these feelings. Oh, oh, I don't deserve that. Baba, this title was reserved specially for you only. But you are giving to us. So that's so, like, a big proud moment. Om Shanti, thank you. Om Shanti, yes. What you said is right. Uh, like, read any Murli. So every day you have a murli. Murli is the food. Murli is the journey, right? Uh, today, in, in this particular murli, Baba has given us all the powerful somas. So before starting any activity, any work, be with Baba, invite Baba, and along with Baba, in that combined form, start the activity. First, think of the powerful somas Baba has given. And in that soma, stabilize yourself, take a minute or two, stabilize yourself, and then start the activity. So it's like one engine, if there's a second engine added to the first engine, then it can really go fast. So it's like double engine. 
So Baba's powers will come to you and your activity will be simplified. It can be done just like a breeze. So the method is to be with Baba, to be combined with Baba, and then to be to stabilize yourself. First, stabilize the mind in that powerful Soman. So Soman is the Viman that takes you to the elevated uh, altitudes. So this is more important. Then the activity is there. So don't give highest importance to the external stuff. Now your internal stage is more important. Stabilize that and then start out the activity. That's how you can start any activity. So this is one of the methods. Similarly, every day you listen to every day movie. Take things that you want to implement in your life, in your lifestyle, such that you get benefit out of that. So it's all about deriving benefit from what Baba is teaching us on a daily basis. That's how you can integrate knowledge within your lifestyle on a daily basis in every task, every activity, and every project that you set out to do. This is another method. So there are many methods and each one has their own way or mechanism to implement those methods and derive benefit out of what Baba teaches us on a daily basis. So it's up to us to design those methods and take them forward in your life and get the benefit. Because Baba is the almighty authority. And if he is with me, what is not, like nothing is impossible. There, there can be setbacks, but eventually we will succeed because the almighty authority is here with us. That's how you can build confidence and become courageous and then start the activity. So this is one of the, I hope this will uh, set the context for you and this will help you going forward. And uh, like, there can be many questions, but no doubts. Question is different, clarification is different, but doubt is different. So you can have clarifications to get that clarity of mind, clarity of intellect and to clear the clutter in the mind. Thank you, Ji. Thank you, Ji. Uh, brother, can I just add something? Yes, sister. I, when the sister spoke about remembrance, I just remember what Brahma Baba used to say. Whenever I sit to eat, I want to remember him. But there are times I forget him. So when Brahma Baba said that, why he could forget him? That time, a brother who read that particular line said this. He just said, see, all of us do some role, like when I'm a daughter or I'm a wife, I'm a mother. So I have worn that particular role or that dress, and then I do it. I never forget to remember I'm a mother. When I'm a mother, I'm a mother. When I'm a wife, I'm a wife. When I'm a daughter, I'm a daughter. We have never forgotten to do a role and we give it 100%. So you wear now the cloak of the Avyat Baba on you. Think as if that's one more role which is given on you. So just that particular, whenever you're doing it, immediately you will just get into that role. Because this is not Hatha Yoga. We needn't sit and train. It's such an easy yoga to remember the one whom we left who's far away. So that's how I used to always take, not to make, but to just make it as easy. I'm in love with somebody is always on the back door of my mind. I just thought I should tell her, it, it's easy to just remember the one whom you love. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sister. Yeah, that helps. That's great help. Thank you. Thank you, brother, as well. Yes, so you can, you can set the context, like in your whole day, you have a timetable. Now, to, in that timetable, set the timetable of the mind for what activity I'll have, which stage. So it's, it's like mix and match of things. In what stage I'll do this activity. Okay, so get that roadmap done for yourself. So while, okay. you, while cooking, while 
going walking while going to office in office and then once you come back so every activity and take a minute or two go into silence connect with baba get some power some quality and then implement that in your daily life so if you yeah thank it, you all knowledge should be integrated in your lifestyle itself then it becomes easy remembrance and baba has given a very powerful mechanism here like baba says you are not doing it uh, new because when you do something new when you learn a new skill you will not be confident but you have already learned it it's like driving or swimming you have learned it but there is a gap of many years i mean you know it like you have learned it you have did it so going back again practicing it again right so it it becomes much easier so you are the same old soul a kalpa hai tu you are the child of god even in the previous kalpa and you took the complete treasures complete inheritance from baba even in the previous cycle so once you remember this remembrance will itself will itself become easier om shanti thank you brother thank you sister om shanti ji everyone that a great help thank you om shanti brother om shanti all divine souls uh, today's moodly i found very very interesting the reason being baba has given us lot of yuktis for us and few yuktis which i would like to share here is first one is about baba talks about faith uh, faith means uh, the more faith we have in our intellect more victorious that's a very nice thing and it gives us lot of strength also and one more yukti which i like was the more we remain busy in creating a aviat atmosphere the more everything will happen automatically that also sounds very easy and makes our life very easy and very nice and one more yukti which i want to take away today is if we consider ourselves old then the memory of the previous cycle returns and effort is easy so the saman what baba gave us here is i am from the previous cycle and the last one which i would like to uh, which i liked here was uh, about uh, uh, that i am from the previous cycle and uh, we are the children of the almighty authority father and remembrance becomes easy and remembrance of father itself is a courage and uh, what i would like to one more thing which i would like to highlight is i would I like to request all divine souls to come up and speak like this so that what happens is uh, we will get used to the swamans and remembrance of swamans also becomes easy thank you yeah thank you for the valuable sharing yes uh, the one of one of the points you mentioned uh create that object atmosphere yeah so that that can be done in sangatan in a gathering in a group huh it can be very powerful take one thought whole group is stabilized in that thought like huh and then whether it is whatever quality whatever power it may be peace love hmm. yes sir purity whatever so if the whole group is focused and concentrated in one stage then the atmosphere gets created okay once the atmosphere is created okay. it becomes so powerful that it draws and it attracts the souls okay so can we try yeah. can we try one brother now sure thank you thank you very much yeah and our only duty is to ah. remember baba not to do service service is a external thing absolutely yeah. yes yes that's the next thing first thing is remembrance absolutely and baba has always said that yes. your only duty is to remember me and i'll do the service for you correct yes. baba also, yeah baba also yeah it's not your service it's my service okay yes. and your only duty is to remember 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 me alone that's it yeah baba also says that requires a little bit of effort also yeah if you have to remember so many things it becomes very confusing what to remember when but only one thing baba has given that's it that also baba is making so easy for us thank you baba thank you thank you brother
anyone wants to try okay so we are good and uh, rakhi sister yes brother we can then move on to meditation if you done to share us sure let's set stabilize ourselves in silence i am the living energy the shining star in the forehead who is doing a role here i complete my activity and detach myself from this costume i am different than this role my existence is outside this role as well i detach from here I stabilize myself above my body, and I can see the shadow is the point. Gradually, I move higher and higher. I go beyond this physical world. I go to my roots. I am that ancestor soul, and I belong to the soul world. soul world is full of peace peaceful vibrations every day i connect myself with the supreme being of peace devotion of peace the supreme soul eternally i have been in peace i am the most powerful peaceful being i am filled with peace Thus, infinite silence, sweet silence. When I stabilize myself in the peaceful atmosphere, I draw the power of peace 
from the ocean of peace. I can stabilize in this stage. Eternally forever. For however long. become that embodiment of peace with this power of peace I gently carry me with me the ocean of peace I gently start coming back the return enter into this costume the stage of soul world emerges in me and I become a complete being of peace and this these peaceful vibrations is spread throughout the body and throughout the atmosphere. So the whole environment becomes one of peace. There's peace everywhere spreading out. The whole atmosphere is peaceful and that peaceful atmosphere I have to act using this role, this costume, using this instrument. So as an instrument, I set out that this Peaceful vibrations occupied in my mind and spreading into my body, into the area, the city, and beyond. So, in this setup, I start my acting. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you, Shiva, Shinivas Bhai. We would love to hear from you more. And really, it was a peaceful meditation commentary. Thank you, Divine Family, for a beautiful journey. See you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Till that time, wish you all a happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Thank you. 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 Thank you.